Hello to all my beautiful peoples out there across the entire earth, my brothers and sisters across all of the continents out there in Europe and Asia and Africa and the moon and Australia and New Zealand and wherever else. I love you with all of my heart, with all the love that God has put into my heart to give. That's something that we need to be focusing on right now. Paul says, above all else, be pursuing love. And, then, and that's not to say that all the rest of the things like knowledge and wisdom and faith and expectation and all these things, they are all important. In fact, they're all important so that they can serve to highlight the love, which is the most important thing. Whenever we say that above all else, be pursuing love, to be rooted and grounded in the agape love of our Father, that's not to say that all the other things are useless. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Their usefulness is to highlight the love through contrast. The highest form of knowledge is to know the love of God. The highest form of wisdom is the love of God. So these things we need to be rooted and grounded in. Love. And do you know, what the, do you know what's the highest form of love? Of course, it's agape love, but the highest form of that, the highest expression of the divine agape unconditional love is self-sacrificial love. That's the highest form of love that there is. And the best example of that is our Lord, Jesus Christ, when he humbled himself and took the form of a slave and emptied himself when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he went to the cross. Not just for us, but for all of creation. That is the highest form of love that there will ever be or ever has been or ever will be. <laughs> and it is that love, it is that mindset that disposition which Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 2, to be of the same mind, to be of the same heart, the same spirit, the same disposition. To deem each other superior to oneself. To live like a slave for one another, for our brothers and sisters. To let all of our actions occur in love. For the body is for the upbuilding of itself in love. It's not for the upbuilding of itself in knowledge pride or vanity. Let no tainted thing issue out of your mouth. Let sure that all of your words are well seasoned with salt, for we are part of one another, me and you. Even though that we're from completely different countries and completely different backgrounds, as you can see, I live in the Shire right now for the Lord of the Rings. It's very green. <laughs> and this is during uh, January too. All the trees, well not all the trees, but most of the trees have their leaves away and it's starting to it looks like death, but it's still beautiful though. We're in the period of death. We're in winter and yet there's life all around us. We are the luminaries of this world. And the reason why we are the luminaries of this world is because we share the same mind, the mind of Christ, the love of our Father, the spirit of both our Father and Christ Jesus that is making its home in us. And that allows us, and we're growing, of course, it's not, we're not perfect. And if that, that's what makes it beautiful, that's what makes it beautiful. We're not perfect, we're perfectly imperfect. Paul says, above all else, be pursuing love, and the highest form of love, of that agape divine love, is self-sacrificial love. The same mindset, the same disposition that our Lord has when he was away to be crucified. For all of creation, he gave himself up as a sacrifice for all of our benefit. And Paul had the exact same mindset he spent his entire believer life upbuilding us and ministering to us, pouring out his life as a sacrifice. He took the form of a slave as well, ministering to us. He said that to be living is, for, is to be living for Christ, but to die is to gain. Because he was not living for himself, he was living for us with all of his actions. And the ones who he chose to be teachers and apostles to go out there to the brothers and sisters, to the ecclesias, it was Timothy, people like that, a sweet child of his. They had a relationship like a father and a son. And the reason why Paul chose Timothy over all the other people wasn't because he was more wise or knowledgeable or better looking or because he had uh, be be beautiful hair. <laughs> no, it's because he was rooted and grounded in love, which God gives to us. So it's not something that we can earn or it's not something that we can just study and just achieve or acquire for ourselves. It has to be given. It's graciously granted to each. And it's a measure. So someone's been given more not knowledge, more understanding. This, been, this person's been given more faith. This person's been given more love. Whatever it is. 
every member of the body has their position. So don't put yourself down if you've been acting uh, pridefully re recently, because I've been doing the exact same thing. I make mistakes every single day. And that's important because we learn from our mistakes. And that the ultimate lesson from those mistakes is to be rooted and grounded in that sacrificial love. To go out there and let all of your actions occur for the upbuilding of the body. To not be selfish, but to be selfless. To empty yourself of all the pride and ego and vanity. Of all the faction and strife. Don't do things to better yourself. Do it to better the others, your brothers and sisters especially the family of faith. Do it for all mankind, not just the believers in the body of Christ, but especially the believers in the body of Christ, but do it for all mankind. Your mother, your father, your children, your uncles, your nieces, your aunties, everyone and everything, all the animals, but especially the body of Christ, especially the family of faith. Let's go out there and teach and admonish and uh, everything, minister, love, uplift, everything and anything that our Father will allow us to do, that has granted us to do, should I say. Let this disposition be in you which is in Christ Jesus also, who being inherently in the form of God, deems it not pill pill pillaging to be equal with God, but takes the form of a slave, comes in the likeness of humanity. He empties himself, takes the form of a slave, the firstborn of all creation, the highest form of humility, the highest example of humility that, that creation has ever seen or ever will see. Let that same disposition, that same mindset, which is in Christ Jesus, be in you also. That is maturity right there. That is the ideal. And Paul had that. And Timothy had that. And now it's time we have that. Not that we earn it, of course. I'm not saying you're going to acquire it by, me by like meditating real hard or fasting. No, of course not. I'm not saying that. It will be graciously granted to, do, to those who have been pre-designated to have that role. And I'm not saying that I have that. But that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I want to be a benefit to everyone around me. I want to go out there and benefit people and learn and make mistakes. And That's the only thing that I really understand and i don't understand it completely of course because i'm not all knowing but that's the only thing that i want to pursue and knowledge and wisdom and studying and languages and all of these things are incredibly important i'm not saying that everything else is not important on the contrary it is very important it is very very valuable for god is the creator of all things and if he created all things then how could they have no use would god create something to be useless no it's, it's very this very form of use of uselessness is actually useful to highlight the ones that are useful. The vessels of honor are just as important as the vessels of dishonor. It's all useful. It's all important. And yes, it will be cast away. Faith, expectation, all the knowledge and wisdom of this world will be cast away. And in the end, love, which the highest form of that love is self-sacrificial love, that will be remaining. So remind yourself of this, guys, my brothers and sisters. Go out there to one another and be a slave to one another. Uplift one another. Counsel one another. Admonish one another in love. Teach one another. Do exactly what Paul was doing with us. He let all of his actions, nothing was concerning himself. He let every single one of his actions was to upbuild us. It wasn't to upbuild himself. It was to upbuild us. And, he, and Timothy was the exact same way. Self-sacrificial love. We need to empty ourselves. Empty yourselves of all the faction. Don't do it for your ego, to please your ego or to puff up yourself. All of these things are, let all these things be forfeit. Forfeit everything apart from the cross of Christ. Boast only in that. Take the form of a slave. Faithfully discharge your service. Do the work of an evangelist. Herald the good news. Love one another as Christ does. And you know the highest form of Christ's love? It was him going to the cross for us all. Let that disposition be in you which is in Christ also, who being inherently in the form of God, deems it not pillaging to be equal with God. I can't say that word, pillaging. Pillaging, yes, there we go. <laughs> we all have our flaws, but they're God-given flaws. Look at the sun. I don't think you can see it. Can you see it now? There we go. Because my big fat head was in the way. 
Isn't that beautiful? It's all beautiful, guys. Everything is beautiful. Let's stand up. Ah, that's better. Now you can kind of see it better. Let that dispossession be in you, which is in Christ Jesus also. Take the form of a slave, faithfully discharge your service, upbuild the body in love, and that agape, unconditional love. Let nothing, let nothing concern you or bother you. All is of God. God is the potter and we are all the clay. We are all his clay. And he molds whatever he wants, whatever he desires for his purpose, out of the clay that he himself formed. Let nothing harm you or concern you. All is for our all is for our benefit. I mean, look at the creation. Even in its uh, cursed state with all the thorns and brambles, it's still beautiful the way that it is. And we can look at each other like that. You know, this fallen creation or whatever Christianity likes to say, yes, it is evil and it's full with uh, the curse uh, and the soil is cursed. Well, I still see the beauty in it. And we can... That's really an analogy for one another. We're not perfect, but yet we're so beautiful at the same time. That is, that is love. Let us go out there and benefit one another. Whatever we need, we will be there. Whether it be advice or knowledge or wisdom or love or patience, kindness, faithfulness, admonishment, whatever it is, we will be there for one another. And don't do it for your sake. Do it for their sake. You're not upbuilding yourself. You're upbuilding them, which itself upbuilds yourself because we are one in him. So all your actions occur in love. That is the core. It's always been the core. And that's not to say that the core is uh, the only thing that has value. You know, the core of the apple is not something that, that people like to eat. It's usually the outer rims of the apple, the flesh of the apple that people like to feast on. And the reason why we have to feast on the apple, on the outside of the apple, is so we can get to the core. And that's what we're all doing. This is why this world is so evil and dark and depressing and why we're imperfect. We were made that way by God, which means we're perfectly imperfect. Let's have patience with one another. Let's go out there and love one another the way that God created us. Yes, we're not perfect. And yes, when we make mistakes, we have to admonish one another. But there's a difference between admonishing one, one another out of vain glory. You're doing it for yourself to puff yourself up. I'm right and you're wrong. There's a difference between that and doing it in love. Genuinely wanting to help someone, being selfless, taking the form of a slave. Be a slave to one another. The same way that Christ is or was. Same way that Paul was. The same way that Timothy was. That is the ideal. Read Philippians chapter 2 where it says that. And it doesn't matter what your side of the pre-existence is. The message is still the same. Let this disposition be in you which is in Christ Jesus also. It's humility. It's love. Focus on that. I deem everything else is forfeit. That's not to say that it has no value. It has value. But this is the core. And this is what I want to pursue. Will I do it perfectly? Oh no, I will make many mistakes. And I'm sure that many of you have already noticed how imperfect I am. But just as this creation, this fallen, death, cursed creation behind me, it may be filled with death and pain and sorrows, but it's beautiful nonetheless. Let's see each other like that. Let's see Christ in us, a different face of Christ for all the believers in the body of Christ. Let's love what one another as Christ does. Let's be imitators of God as beloved children. Do nothing with vainglory and faction. Do it all for the body. Let all your actions occur in love. Be patient with one another. We're not perfect right now. We're perfectly imperfect. Just like this creation is beautiful. I love you guys and remember that. So live your life as a sacrifice to the believers in the body of Christ. Let all your actions occur in love and let them all be for the upbuilding of the body in love. That is the ideal. Will we be perfect at that? Of course not. Of course we won't be perfect at it. Still, that's what Paul tells us to do. 
above all else be pursuing love, and the highest form of love is self-sacrificial love. So live, lead your life as a sacrifice to the believers in the body of Christ. In fact, do it for all mankind, but especially the family of faith. Love, grace, and peace to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day or morning or night or evening or wherever you are. Look at the creation. And you can see my head too. It looks like a bush. I need to get a haircut. So listen, guys, I love you all. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. I'm going to speak to my brother, Sterling. I love you, brother. And I'm going to work on more videos. And I'm going to live my life the best to my God-given ability to help you guys. And to help myself, of course, because I will grow also. Love, grace, and peace to you all. The eyes of your heart having been enlightened.